I can see your bum. Hi everybody, my name is Spammels and welcome to Lost Shadows, an indie horror game that's free to play. There's a link in the description down below if you want to check it out yourself. It's set in an abandoned theme park. We have to escape, but here's the twist. We must avoid the light, for there are monsters hiding within. It looks very interesting, I want to give it a go. So without any more stalling, let's begin! Welcome to the game, everybody. We have to use the gamepad as well for this. Hey, I can see up your skirts. Where am I? Theme park, love. Don't want to drop the gun there. Damn it. Looks like the gate out of here is locked. Well, jeez. Can't see anything. I better find a flashlight. Don't want to be hypercritical, but I mean, like, random flashlights are not something one would normally expect to find. And you could totally climb out of here, jump up on that, on this, on that. Whatever. Where's the flashlight at? Oh, and apparently... Oh, there's a map. That's great. Where am I? I'm there. It's a lovely theme park. I can't wait to get a better look at it. Wait, how is it I wake up with a map? <laughs> so we've played one other kind of horror game that was set in a theme park, and it was simply called The Park. Uh, oh, that's oh, that's better. Yes. Oh, wait, avoid the light, it said. On the website. Oh, let's check the lights out. Oh, my God, there's a monster dead ahead of us. It's getting close. Wow, jeez. I don't like the way it moves. That does give me the jitters. It really does. I've spoken about this in the past. <sighs> what happened to you? She reminds me of a character out of Bioshock, and I've spoken in the past, jittery monsters are the worst kind of monsters for me on a horror level. And yes, we played a game that was a horror game set in a theme park simply called The Park, but that was kind of disappointing because it was more of, I don't know, a walking simulator storytelling thriller with very little horror elements in it. Now it's, oh, pick this up. Oh, that was, oh, I wasn't done reading that. Oh. So here's, well, there's a monster over there and then. I just sat down, waiting for someone to come keep them company. We're gonna have to use the flashlight to see where we're going, but at the same time, I can't use it. You are not alone. Don't trust the light. That's cool. Um, <laughs> so wait, if, as long as the lights are off, will that monster not hurt me? Owners of Lockerland Clocks Dead. Edward and Linda Lockland, founders and owners of Lockland Clocks, tragically died yesterday within hours of each other after months of severe illness. The wealthy couple aged 43 and 42 respectively were reported to have both developed a cause of tuberculosis shortly after returning from a holiday in South America. A funeral for the Lockins will be held this Saturday in an undisclosed location, but their final request, the event, will be restricted to friends and employees of the Lockland family. The Lockland fortune and business is likely to be left to the last living member of the family, Douglas Lockland, age 7. The conditions of the inheritance remain as of yet undisclosed, along with any other details of the couple's last will and testaments. Thanks for that. Now, if I poke this, like... Well, there's, the shadow is... There's someone outside the window. I see you out the window, but there's a shadow, but there's nobody sat there. Okay, I'll just let them be, let them be. This has lots of promise. It really does. Another letter. Four people have gone missing at Lockland. Over the course of the past few years, the once wonderful theme park Lockland has been going downhill. A series of tragic events and missing person reports have plagued the local tourist destination. Last month, Ada Bullers, the personal caretaker of Mr. Douglas Lockland and acting manager of Lockland, was reported missing by staff. And just this week, three more members of Lockland staff have been reported missing by their friends and families in order of reported disappearances. Dennis Cook, Hedy Cooper, and Brian Archer. Oh, that's terrible! I'm not going to read everything, although there's only 10 items to find. Wow, the FPS drops just there. Does that mean something's loading in or what? Okay, let's get on with this. Let's get deeper. So this is kind of a, a short to medium length game from what I'm aware. I'm expecting kind of 30 minutes, but maybe we'll burst for it because we're amazing. Filters? Excuse me? Whoa! Okay, so my flashlight has filters that can interact with things. Okay, that's quite cool. So it's got a puzzle-like mechanic. Waypoint reached. Hi, we're outside. We're in the park. Why is that statue missing its head? That's not foreboding in any way whatsoever, is it? Let's keep that on. Yes, mate. The power filter. Press our uh, trigger to turn off the power. That's so cool. Oh, let's come back on again. So it's on a timer? Run! Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, oh, dude, let's try that again. Poof! And they're off! Go! Yes, mate! Okay. Uh, oh, what's this? 
Recover your health at park waypoints. Excuse me. I, uh, this sign is physically attracted to me, it would seem. Okay, the haunted forest sounds cool. Adventureland. Be wary of lights you can't turn off. What's so bad about the lights? Oh, wow. Did you see that? No, 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 I, Jesus, I was just dipping my toe in the little bits. Okay, whatever, go away, go away. So we are trying to escape. We use the gear filter. Oh, I'm turning the lights. That's neat. Again, a free to play game. You can download it in the description down below. It ain't gonna cost you a penny. You're getting quite a lot of content for a free game. Like, the... I've played- I've paid for worse games on Steam. This should be on Steam. Wait, maybe I should- Reserve judgment until we get to the end. Any monster boost here? No? Okay, tiny her trucks away. Find your way to the theater. Is that gonna be via the bumper cars? Can I use this? Waypoint reached. That means checkpoint for spammers. Ah, I can't go through that. So let's go through the bumper cars. Parts of this really does remind me of that other game, The Park. I'm wondering now if, like, I don't know, there was an asset that was purchased that both games have. Power this up. Wabushi, I ride you. Wait, wait, come back, come back. I want to go. Please let me go. No? Oh, wait, wait. Oh, the, the flashlights of the cars. Oh, no, 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 no. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, God, gee. No, 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 no. Okay, I didn't think this one through. Oh, there's another car. I didn't think this through, damn it. That's really neat. I wouldn't say it's particularly a, a horror, scary experience so far. More just a puzzle game with horror undertones. He turns that way. And I go around the back. No, there's the exit. Go, go, go. I've got this covered. What's my name? I'm calling me Sarah Jane. Because it kind of rhymes with what's my name. Can I scooch you on the outside of this? Oh, I think I can. No, I can't. We're going towards the merry-go-round. And there's a power box there. What can I do with this? Turned off the lights. Congratulations, everybody. Oh, the horses have died. No! Okay, what can I... I need to get this thing turning, it seems. There's a thing over here. And there's a building. So, where she? Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, no. Okay. Run! Okay, not a problem. Shall I hide in the shop? I'm going in the shop, apparently. Oh, no. I made a mistake. I made a mistake. I made a mistake. Sorry about that. Well, I survived that somehow. There's a letter. Accidents plague Lockland. Lockland, the once wonderful theme park destination for the whole family, has been plagued by its fifth major incident this year. 22-year-old James Starling reportedly drowned in the water surrounding the... Tell Town Theatre yesterday after supposedly wandering away from his family. His body was discovered around 3.30 p.m., at which time he was declared dead by Lachlan's medical staff. It is currently unknown why or how he ended up drowning. Earlier this year, 18 and 19-year-olds Jessica and Christopher Harkins were reported missing by their families. Both last seen in Lachlan's Adventureland, both remain missing to this very day. Lots of bad things are happening. People are talking about it. People keep saying something's got to be done about this. And I agree. Now, what is this going to do for me? Boof. Oh, the exit to the theatre has now been powered up. Right? That needed to happen. It has happened. Now, we are leaving. If I can escape. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Yes, yes, yes. I'm amazing. And now, the, the gate's open. We should be able to go straight out. No. Okay, well, let's try something else out. There was another power source around here. Oh, no, 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 no. Welcome back. Made my way back. Had to close the entire game down because the memory got flooded. So here we are. I'm about to turn the merry-go-round back on. There's the power source for there. We know that one of the boxes to turn off the gate is upstairs in that place there. And I know that there's another box up on that balcony. But I don't know how to get up there. Let's give this a go and pray for the best. Yes, mate? And go. Now, basically, the more I mess this up, the more the game's going to lag. The more the game lags, the more I have to crash and then start again from scratch. Which isn't fun whatsoever. Run! Yeah, I, I know you're there, but I made it because I'm amazing. Right, that turns off one of the two lights. One more light to go. How do I get to it? I don't know, but maybe downstairs. While it started off very promising and I couldn't have been more kind of supportive of it, it does have issues. Oh, I made a mistake there. Mate, oh, really? 
That one little thing's in the way and I can't go through. Oh, but the thing's there. Can I reach it from here? Yes. That opens that. Okay, and then from there I can probably get upstairs. My god, those mannequins. Were they always there? I don't think they were. No, they was not. Okay. Game is trying to spook me. God damn it, game. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Okay, go, 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 go. Go through the door, through the door. I hear those monsters and they are not happy. Like behind a fridge or something? Wow! Way to go, Fridgey Poo, my friends. And obsess. Onto the balcony. Amazing. Got this. Got this. 100% nailed this. Oh, hi, look at the rest of the park. The merry-go-round without a base station. How does everyone get on board? Amazing! Who would have thought having no lights on would trigger a gate to unlock? This game does have potential. It really does. It's just it's suffering right now from bad optimization more than anything. A okay, waypoint has been reached. Well done, everybody. Got another boxy boo there. Power that. That takes that light offline. Run past it like a champ. Yeah, you do. So we're still trying to make our way to the theatre for those that don't quite remember what we're doing. The Royal Theatre is bottom left of us. Past the pirate ship. The pirate ship's there. It's stuck inverted. I'm going to get past it. I need to get that light turned off. Okay. So let's go on to the pirate ship and see what we can do. Oh, I can cut that, I think. Mate, yeah, that. Boop. Amazing! Now, I don't like it. I'm a fan of logic, right? And I don't like it when games have, like, boundaries that are very easily... I don't know, like, a small fence you could easily climb or step over, preventing you from going forwards. Boof. And there's, there's the pirate... <laughs> Hands in the air! Yes, mate! Okay, pirate ship back underway. There's some paperwork outside. Get a dabble on that bad boy. Wabushi! Douglas Lockland is gone! The investigation into the whereabouts of Mr. Douglas Lockland, owner of Lockland Clocks and founder of Lockland's, came to an end yesterday afternoon. Police have officially declared him deceased. The search for Mr. Lockland began nearly five months ago after members of his park staff reported his second consecutive week of missing scheduled meetings. In light of this development, the acting manager of Lockland, Dean Smith, a stunning name, Smiths are someone to be proud of. Dean Smith has stated that Lockland will officially shut down operations this Sunday. The park, which had been fading for many years, was temporarily closed by police two months ago after being linked to a series of tragic disappearances that have plagued the surrounding areas for nearly four years now. As we have been told by police, there have been no new developments since the discovery of the belongings of Ada Bales, the former caretaker of the now deceased Mr. Douglas Lockland, buried within the walls of Lockland's home. So a servant goes missing, her belongings are found buried inside the walls of the master, who in turn then goes missing. That's the beginning of a Scooby-Doo mystery that I don't want to be a part of. Oh, the shadow of the rides! That's really cool! I le I'm being legitimately serious. I'm not just saying it for a catchphrase or anything. That is... I appreciate playstyles like this. Um, it, oh, there's, there is another game similar, but I can't remember. I can't remember. Everyone's having a great time here at Lachlan Park! It's so good, you'll wish you would never leave. Perhaps even be locked in. Okay, mannequins, we're in the theatre. Should I take a seat next to this guy? I can see your bum! Okay, uh, what do I do about this? Oh, I can use the gear on this. And that turns that little light down there. Why? Because reasons, that's why. Don't question it. Only weirdos question such logical things like that. It barely needs self-explaining. And there's another gear thing over here. Which I believe we can use to open maybe the gate. Oh, and they're both now turning. Clever beans! And now I can go up. I guess I got to turn them a third time to get to where I got to go. Oh, what's this? Oh, it's for the scenery, I guess. Right? So I can go uh, bush. Got uh, wolf and pigs and peoples and red riding hoods. Red, hood, red riding hood, go away. Oh, I did something. Cool! Okay, so I'm going to be the first to admit this is hardly a thrilling or exhilarating game. But, you know, we're invested. We're this far into it. I got a feeling we're near the end because we've been going for about 20 minutes now or so. Here's a note. I can't read it. Go away. So let's just get to the end and then we'll have a final judgment there, yeah? It will be amazing. Oh, I got to use the shadows. Okay. Oh, 
Oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, I don't like this. Ah! Shut up, shut up, shut up. I hear it wibbly wobbling. And now the light has been moved. I shall take the trident of mystery. Really, what is it? It is literally a trident of mystery. And it opens gates, apparently. Magic! Yes, mate! And we made it like a boss. Bioshock will be very happy with our little... What are you doing? Hi to you too! Oh, you're loving it. Everyone's loving it, apparently. It's almost like they're congratulating me for doing something good, question mark. Was that the end? Oh, the lights are coming on. Run! Oh, yeah, gotta run, gotta run. I do hope nothing ahead of me blocks the way. I'll have to think fast, and that would be terrible. Here's some gates. I'm back at the entrance, apparently. Where am I going now? Do I have the tools needed to open? What? What? What's the logic behind that? Oh, they had the key, that that mysterious thing. Where's the key to open the, the okay? Not gonna question that, just, just possessing it. It's got wireless connectivity. And the park has been closed down for years. Still has lights and power. That's a thing. So this has been Lost Shadows, the free to play indie horror game. It has potential, it does. It needs lots of tinkering, it really does. Optimization number one, first and foremost. Now this was made as part of a school project. I think they worked on it for four months. Um, and they ran out of time to optimize it. I, I, I bound my head. They, they did execute a, a basic story. They crafted a level that did have some kind of progression and development. The glitching monsters in the light is a cool dynamic twist because I liked the shadow puzzles. I liked when the, the pirate ship was swinging. We had to go in time with that. The marionette things going up and down, scenery, whatever you want to call them. There is good things behind this, but sadly it gets kind of tarnished by the bad things of the game. It overweighs it way too much. I guess I kind of would like to see maybe a progression in the monsters that made them more threatening. Uh, more horror scenarios. I don't know, it's quite like vibrant and bright and colorful. Like if they could uh, maybe tone down the saturation. I'm getting over picky here. Anyway, that's been Lost Shadows. If you want to check it out yourself, there's a link in the description below. If it starts lagging out, restart your game. And on that bombshell, thank you for watching. Rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye, everybody.